Hi everyone, I'm Jack Red, and I'm going to do an interview with the Vampire Series. Now, um, I'm going to be advised that um, the first one I'm going to do is my brother's favorite vampire movie to this day. And he has confessed that he wished those vampires were real. So, um, and he's older than I. You think he's an open one? He's never open one. Oh yeah, I would like to see a vampire like that. I know you would too. Um, first movie had Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, Antonio Banderas, uh, Chris and Dust. You can name it, they're, they're in there. It was a good movie, you know. Last oh, I almost forgot, Chris and Slater. And it was, it was really well t detailed. I mean, Brad Pitt was awesome in there, and so was Tom Cruise, and I mean, the whole story just fits together so perfect. And I and I know, and I'm the, the lady who wrote the books, you must be impressed with this work. It was a success indeed. However, I wish I could say the same about Queen of the Damned. Here's its little surprise that, that actually took me off. They tried mixing its two book sequels, Interview with the Vampires, two, two sequels, The Vampire Was Sad, and Queen of the Damned together since there wouldn't be part one or part two to cover, so they sent the film put together. It was bad, but the lady who played the queen died before um, the movie even got released or even got finished for that matter. And so she never got uh, the solo thing. She got nominated for Best of One on TV, uh, on MTV Movie Awards. She did not win it, if you were wondering. She came close. Um, it's okay, man. I thought, I thought it was cool having the rock theme in there, but I prefer the first movie over it. It was just more violent. It's just, you know, it feels more of a vampire. And it was just well, well done. Yes. 